Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. As soothing as the sea. Oceans of beautiful music. Hello and welcome to Melody Matinee. KJR 306, time now for Gary Lockwood's award-winning Eyewitness News. The most incomprehensive coverage in the Pacific Northwest, and now the news. Wednesday, May 30th, let's see what's happening in the news today. On this day in 1431, the French burned Joan of Arc at the stake. Joan was only 19, but she had a hot body. Monday was a big day for Olivia Dion. It was May 28, 1934, in Ontario, Canada, when Olivia started having babies. And for a while, it looked like she'd never stop. But after five, she ran out. You probably remember Mrs. Dion. Uh, she's the lady who said, having... <laughs> Having quintuplets sure takes a lot out of you. KJR 410. Time now for Gary Lockwood's world famous feature, Police Blotter. This is the city. Seattle, Washington. Jock. Friday, May 11th, my partner and I were working the afternoon shift. My partner is Sergeant Roger. My name's Captain Lockjock. Hello, Sarge. Hey, buenas noches, Capitan. Let's check the police blotter and see what kind of caseload we have today. Dateline, Seattle. Seattle. Another case of love gone bad <laughs> in which police had to intervene. Well, yeah. A 35-year-old federal wayman arrested early yesterday morning after police found a, found a large bonfire fueled by his ex-girlfriend's belongings burning in his driveway. <laughs> According to police, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude had hurt feelings. According to police, the man and his lady had recently separated after living together for some time. Apparently, the split was not amicable because early yesterday morning, <laughs> took all, he took all of her stuff that was left at the house, piled it up in the driveway, and called her on a telephone and said, guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> well, a cop showed up to find a bonfire shooting eight-foot flames and the man on the porch drinking a beer with a neighbor. <laughs> yes. He told officers he had intended to burn the stuff, but the pile caught fire accidentally. He was booked on investigation of arson. Yes. Yes. Love works in strange ways. <laughs> That's right. Even stranger when it's all done with. And now let's all hold hands and sing feelings. <laughs> feelings. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I'll tell you. Another unusual story. That's right. Uh, here's a strange case out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Yeah. Remember when uh, Alice Cooper was in town recently? Mm hmm And we had an Alice Cooper look-alike contest? That's right. Well... Well, radio station WRHI in Kalamazoo had one, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the winner was... Dun, 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 Bill Zorich. Mm -hmm. Wearing black and white paint on his face and a lizard-skinned top hat, <laughs> Zorich took first place as the best Alice Cooper lookalike. Unfortunately for radio station WRHI, it wasn't until wasn't until after Bill had won the contest that they discovered <laughs> he dresses like that all the time. <laughs> what? And turns out Bill was an escaped patient from a local oh, no. from a local hospital. <laughs> Escaped from the rubber room <laughs> and entered this contest and won. <laughs> well, this 
listen to wait, listen to what Bill won. An invitation to join Alice on stage to sing, <laughs> to sing the song We're All Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, what else? <laughs> a copy of Alice's latest album, which describes his own stay at a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not all. Oh, I can't wait. The prizes just keep on coming. <laughs> and oh, an official, oh. I mean official, oh. Alice Cooper certificate <laughs> of insanity. <laughs> I don't believe it. Is that true? I couldn't see the performance. Well, well, get this. Hospital officials were... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hospital officials were at first reluctant, <laughs> no kidding, <laughs> about letting Zorich attend the concert, but they finally agreed, as long as Bill was accompanied at all times by two nurses. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> That's about all the time we have for today. Be listening again for more exciting true life cases on Gary Lockwood's world famous. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Splatter. KJR's new fall lineup. Wake up with Charlie Brown. Six to nine in the morning. Thank you, Secretary of State, and thank you, Law. Charlie At Brown. At nine, it's Ichabod Kane. Please hold for the president. Hello. Thank you. New this fall from noon to three, Jack Elliott. Oh, aren't you glad your radio works? Even if you don't. And of course, afternoons are Gary Lockwood. I work here. I'm a jock. My name's Captain Lockjock. Hello, Sarge. Hey, Capitano, what's happening? Hello? Is this Lockjock? Yeah. Beginning tomorrow night at 6, new to Seattle nighttime, The Skywalker Show. KJR with Skywalker. You got me going, Seattle. And I'll be blowing off a hit album every five minutes from DJs and Channel 95. 10 to 2 at night. It's J.J. Jackson. Rockin' your socks tonight. Our new fall lineup on KJR Seattle. KJR Seattle. KJR Seattle.